Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiser of South Africa. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So we are just about to get a, uh, a nice little encirclement. How many troops are on this? All of you? You're all here. All you, you fight, you guys stay back. Five uh, divisions, when they have at most 25, at least, at least 20%. If not like 25% of their military is in that small little pocket. Uh, which is fantastic for us. I mean, I don't, have to, I don't have to explain it. That a majority... Not a majority, but a sizable chunk of their army being completely uh, engulfed is good for us. Once you guys go here... Counterattacking against this guy. I think you all move here. You advance on that guy. And if we can take these handful of these territories, that would be nice. Where are you guys going? You're going here? I think that should be fine. I don't see any real uh, difficulties with that at the moment. And of course, once you guys are there, keep moving upwards. You I'm actually going to send to the main front line, though. You're actually trying to break your way out, which is good for us because it actually gives you the multiple combat penalty. Which we want you to have. You know what? You can actually go here. Without too much of a uh, problem. Yeah, so you can get these guys killed off. We're at 72. That would shrink our front line down a little bit. Yeah, like, you guys have no chance. No chance in hell. We got our improved artillery upgrade. After that, what would be best? Probably again, like just more industry tech. No, 1940 research speed. Of course, that's just objectively going to be, I think, our best option. You fight against this guy. You go here. You fight this. And right now, you go here, and you'd actually get another surround on three divisions, which is, again, not bad. That's pretty good for us. Actually, you go here, and you go here. We're at 75. Just keep up the aggression. And I think Middle Africa is going to be having some problems very, very soon. Uh, then I want you moving one province upwards. Actually, no, this is not Shrinker Frontline. Because you are still going to be connected here. So it actually does not accomplish what I thought it would accomplish. But it still accomplishes something. Got 91. Yeah, no, no, no. This is actually going oh, completely okay. The 25 factory still. But I'm hoping when this factory up here is finished, we should be okay. You're not doing anything. And I'm still not joining your war. No matter what you try to tell me, I am not joining. But this should be collapsing soon. You're all here. Are either of you guys... Yeah, you're actually both preparing to kind of move in. Which is okay in the sense that it does at least get rid of your entrenchment. That's one thing that it does accomplish. I'm hoping I'm just not spreading myself out a little bit too thinly here. Yeah, you're fine. Can I get you guys to do anything? You can go here. But it doesn't make sense for you to go there, at least not right now. And yeah, the big lake. Big lake. Big lake is okay. You'll be arriving to that province soon enough. And it doesn't look like the AI has any plans right now, at least for another naval invasion, which is good. Yeah, make your way over to here. And this pocket will be cleaned up in but a moment. Which means that you guys are probably going to spread all the way throughout here. And that's actually another decent chunk of their army gone. So killing was at seven divisions. At least a quarter. At least a quarter of the army is going to be dead. 
which I don't think I need to explain, is really good. Why did you stop attacking? South African students have returned. After some time studying abroad in France, it appears that the first batch of students have returned and they appear to be full of energy. Promoting the Felicer, cynicalism in oddly enough French. This aside, they have brought with them the experience of how to operate French tanks to survive the harsh trains of South Africa. These modifications do come at a cost of speed, but the trade-off of is a slower moving tank to a tank that doesn't move at all. The so max speed goes down, right, but it goes down by plus 15%, which actually is not so bad. Of course, we don't have any tanks, which some might consider to be an issue. Yeah, like, you should be dead. There we go. I think you guys can now deploy to that front. You just keep moving upwards. Someone, I think, just joined a faction. Who is it? Iceland joined the Internationale. The, our most important ally has now arrived. What would we do without good old Iceland? The answer is nothing. We, we would have no way of winning the war. Okay, American Union State. I think as soon as they lose New Orleans, we should be good there. Um, military construction, plus 25% is pretty hard not to uh, look at. Go for one more on fa factories. Still missing one on you, but really it's not that big of a deal. Oh, you guys actually push your push way through. Fantastic. We could maybe try to continue advancing forward. Like, you're trying to take this province from us. You will be there in three days, 19 hours. You will be there in... One day, eight hours. You'll be back in two days, 21 hours. So you might as well assist in this attack for right now. Because you're not going to be able to get anywhere else earlier. Yeah, once this province falls, we'll be looking pretty good. Middle Africa, we have gotten them down to 88% capitulation. Are you encircled? I think so, even though this kind of like loops around, like it's a little bit strange. Wait, no, 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 you're actually not encircled. We can actually encircle this guy, which would be much better for us. Thank you, uh, Mexico, for your rifles. These areas, we probably want... Actually, you're... No, you're not here. We need two people for this front line um, at some point. You can keep on pushing through. Like, Middle Africa, unsurprisingly, the entire continent of Africa is quite large. Naval invasion of Bulgaria, probably about the worst place you could possibly land. Uh, mostly because Bulgaria does not have a front at all, and all of Bulgaria's troop is going to rush straight to your border. So, good luck with that. I still don't know if I want to do anything with this, honestly. Um... I guess we'll go for naval speed. I mean, it's something, right? Now you guys are going to keep moving upwards. I'm still not joining your war. You're out of your mind if you think... I mean... Again, I would like to actually just steamroll our way into um, Angola, but I really feel like that's more of an after we've killed off Middle Africa kind of situation. Then we can focus on killing the French or focus on um, dealing with the Portuguese. Because how many troops does the French Republic have? 14 to 60 is a substantial amount of troops. You know, like it's, it's not nothing. Send you guys up here to reinforce. Hey, we're making progress. Let's move your way upwards towards here. I mean, you're going the, um, I think the fax route that might actually make... Do you, do you do the one that makes everybody, like, a little puppet? Because I actually, I think that'd be better for us. Was if everybody became a little puppet uh, for you guys and just you being on your own. 
I mean, you're worth 10 victory points. Zanzibar is worth 5. Most of you are also just, like, worth 1. But also, all the old British colonies don't count towards their capitulation. So, like, Kenya doesn't really matter. Nigeria doesn't really matter. So you guys move up at the wards here. Who's moving? You're moving? Go here. See, now it works out better for us. I mean, I would say, honestly, I was expecting a more difficult war against Middle Africa. We've gotten them down to maybe like 13 divisions. We, we were outnumbered about 2 to 1 right now. Again, in terms of division counts, not in terms of pure manpower on the field. Those are different numbers. But overall... Having communes capitulated, it was it was a matter of time. Like I, nobody's surprised by this. At least I hope nobody's surprised by this. You guys should try to leave ASAP so you don't become uh, casualties here. Also, I do realize I only have to get this on speed four. Our agent's been killed. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Where are you going? You're going all the way up towards the north? Yeah, so you're moving here. Just kind of keep taking territory, you know what I mean? Like... The can't... At, at some point, we're going to kind of overwhelm them. And we, we're kind of at that point. I think once we get past Angola, they won't have enough troops to actually stop us. Goes, goes, you guys go here. You keep pushing up the coastline. And I mean, this one motorized division shouldn't mean too much at the moment. Also advance. And we're close to some actual victory points. Actually, let me see. One, two... Let's see if we can maybe get us around on more German troops. If we could, it would be really nice. I mean, I'm not even thinking we make our way towards their capital here. We can maybe get two big encirclements, crush Middle Africa, and then... I mean, the thing is, it still scares me to go to war with the Entente. Even after we've killed Middle Africa, we need to... I mean, I guess this area of France, the French Republic, doesn't matter so much. Well, you need to basically go here. Beeline our way straight up towards Sahara. All of this will not matter, because the AI has no way to get there. Can you go, can you, can you go here? So if you can go there, I think you should go there. Yeah, so you guys keep on killing these guys. You'll be dead soon. You can't do anything much right now. We did get another port. Just in case the, um... Germany's Asia tries to invade us again. But I don't think they really have... I guess they still have like 38 divisions, maybe. Which is pretty good for them. All things considered. How long is it going to take for you to get all the way over there? Okay, it's going to take you 9 days to get there. Probably ab about a week is what I would estimate right now. Go take all of these cities, please. Honestly, go towards our capital. And see if you can get these encirclements to work. Any encirclement is meaningful. Okay, so I'm trying to make some progress against you. Again, I, like, I would like to deploy more units. You... Come up to this northern port. It's going to take you a while to get there, I admit. Actually, no. You go to here. And then you go to here. And I guess that would probably be slightly faster. Because you're already halfway to where you need to be. Try to attack our way up north. It's not going to work out for you. You redeploy somewhere to be a little bit better. Now that you're attacking us... 
It makes the encirclement a little bit more difficult than they otherwise would be. You know, 5% speed is not so bad, I think. All things considering, I actually don't think it's that bad for us. We're going to get a nice encirclement here. You should all get pushed back. You come up here for the assist. You make your way here. And yeah, Middle Africa is now not, not a problem at all. They keep wanting to break out of their encirclement though, which is not great. I mean, it's not a surprise they want to break their encirclement. The encirclement historically is bad for you. No, you're all still here. You fight, you fight, you fight. You come over to here. You're on this front, come down. Middle Africa, we've got them down to right now 60%. Their new capital is right now in Kinshana. At 29, you're at 48. Then turn around, come up to here. You go to this front for right now. I mean, if they break out, I, it's not really the worst thing in the world. Um, we'll sign you. You will come build a network in here. Did I not have you guys building a network in, like, Algiers? Actually, no, I probably collected your capital. You just went back home. Yeah, that's probably exactly what happened. Okay. Because yeah, you've now broken. You come here. Kill this guy off. You're still making the moves that you need to be making. You aren't even moving right now, which is a problem. And I think you come to this front. Make your way to here. There is a port in Mombasa. So we do want to take Mombasa just so they can't reinforce this area. But after that... Like, where do, where's my cap? You're here. You're surrounded. You'll be killed off. Keep sending troops to here. Honestly, this front doesn't need to be to, up to here. Come down to that province for now. Yeah, because you don't need to be past the river, the the, uh, the lake. Yeah, I was going to say you broke your encirclement, but you actually haven't. Like, you're still very much encircled. You need to take back this port in order to make that not a reality. Wait, free dockyards? Can I build any ships? I could. I can maybe build a submarine. You know, let's let's try to build the world's worst navy. Yeah, not, my my big encirclement plans didn't actually pan out, unfortunately. I mean, we've got to start on one dude. So again, I guess that's something. You go to Kinshasa, Kinshasa. Let's go over there, take that city. You're still doing fine around here. I mean, I just really wish that Bulgaria had some front they could go to. Strike like light lightning. You should strike at... At Austria. Please and thank you. It would make my dreams come true. Yeah, once this area's cleaned up, we'll, we'll be able to move with these troops all the way up towards the north. would be nice. Because even at... At worst, no, at best, this is a quarter of their army. I see, no, at best, this is half? I mean, they have eight divisions. So, yeah, no, I think that's probably about half their army right there. Nairobi is not a core. Mombasa is not a core. You are also not a core. But Mombasa has a port, and that's kind of what we're more interested in. So once one of you guys is free... Specifically you. Go to Mombasa. Take Mombasa. Because then, all like, this whole area, it's fine if it's occupied by Middle Africa. It doesn't matter. Because they have no ports. And I don't think I've ever seen the AI build a port. So I'm not concerned. I'm guessing we just need more um, infantry equipment. Yes, we do. So we'll go with you. Let's keep shrinking your encirclement as much as we possibly can. Who's on this line? 
You're on this line. You're not on this line. Go here. Who's on this line? You're on that line? Get out. No, you're here. You're also here. No, you're you're here. And you're here. Like, please make your way to the areas in the map that actually matter. Yeah, I, I think at this point, Middle Africa is dead. Um, which is nice. Yeah, because you're trying to break out. It's not going to work out for you. Let's get these actual, actual encirclements going. Is there anywhere for you to go up here? Fort Mock? Go to Fort Mock. Then that seems like an okay place for you to actually go. If you're not going to be dead, you come over to here. And then we can kind of reposition you. You come over to this front. And this should be cleaned up. Again, I don't think anybody's sending reinforcements to Middle Africa. Uh, which makes my life easier. Uh, you guys go to here and here. You're only worth one victory point, so like... You honestly don't matter so much. Libreville? Go to Libreville. Well, those are places that exist. The places that exist and places that you should be. This actually might even get another encirclement for us. You go here and then swoop your way back around. Killing off that motorized division would be nice. And now basically, if you're here, you're here. Unless you're this one specific unit that I'm going to sign to go to Mombasa. How many of you guys are on this front? Three? I think three is an okay number. You're 5512. You're actually just way better than my old general now. So we're going to make you infantry expert, follow that up by, let's say, camouflage experts, because we don't really have an air force of our own. So you don't want to risk that too, too much. But I think that for right now is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. And Nigel, you can always put thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.